Today in crypto, Synthetix, SNX, remained in a bullish zone above $15,00, despite pullbacks in Bitcoin and Ethereum against the US dollar. SNX price is likely to rally towards $20,00 if it clears the $16,00 hurdle. After a close above the $12,00 and $12,50 pivot levels, SNX saw a steady increase towards the $15,00 level against the US dollar. Recently, there was a sharp downside correction in, and other major altcoins. However, SNX remained in a bullish zone above $14,00 and $15,00. It even broke the $15,50 level and traded to a new yearly high at $16,01. It is currently consolidating gains above $15,00 in the 100 simple moving average. 4 hours. An initial support on the downside is near the $14,65 level. It is close to the 23,6% Fib retracement level of the recent increase from the $10,31 low to $16,01 high. The first major support is near the $14,00 level. On the upside, the bulls are facing hurdles near $16,00. There is also a major rising channel forming with resistance near $16,00 on the 4 hours chart of the SNX slash USD pair. A clear break above the $16,00 level could open the doors for another rally. In the stated case, the bulls are likely to aim a test of the $18,00 level. The next major resistance on the upside is near the $20,00 level. If SNX price struggles to continue higher, it could correct lower below $14,50. The first major support is near the $14,00 level below which it could test the 50% Fib retracement level of the recent increase from the $10,31 low to $16,01 high at $13,15. The channel support is also near the $13,15 zone. A downside break below the channel support could start a major downside correction towards the $10,50 and $10,00 support levels. Technical indicators 4 hours MACD The MACD for SNX slash US USD is gaining pace in the bullish zone. 4 hours RSI, Relative Strength Index, the RSI for SNX slash USD is currently well above the 50 level. Major support levels $14,65, $14,00 and $13,15. Major resistance levels $16,00. The UK has released a report on crypto assets and stablecoins to deliver a more comprehensive overview of its financial system. According to the official guidelines, the UK Treasury, Her Majesty's Treasury, does not classify XRP as a security. Rather, XRP is looped in with Bitcoin, BTC, and Ethereum, EDH, and categorized as unregulated tokens, which contrasts with the United States definition. In the UK, however, XRP is viewed as a non-security. More specifically, XRP, BTC, and ETH are viewed as crypto assets that are used primarily as a means of exchange. The report refers to them as exchange tokens, a subcategory under unregulated tokens. The UK Treasury's released report follows the standard of the Financial Conduct Authority, FCA. It acknowledges that cryptocurrencies are dynamic. The report read, the FCA's guidance also makes clear that many tokens can take a hybrid form and fall into different categories at different points in time for example, they may initially be used to raise capital, then later be used primarily as a means of exchange. The UK Treasury classified cryptocurrencies in three broad categories, e-money tokens, security tokens, and unregulated tokens. This definition surrounding XRP contrasts with how the token is viewed in the United States. Currently. XRP status in the US remains unclear. While Bitcoin and Ethereum are viewed as commodities, the Securities and Exchange Commission (SEC) alleges that XRP is a security. UK is friendly with Ripple, while US is not previously. Ripple CEO had praised the UK for its regulatory guidance for cryptocurrencies, saying that the UK had a clear taxonomy surrounding it. Brad Garlinghouse applauded UK's Financial Conduct Authority for its leadership in characterizing how one should think about different sort of assets and how they can be used. Ripple and the Bank of England, BOE, 
had long been known to be partners, as the UK central bank had leveraged Ripple's technology for its real-time gross settlement system, RDGS. RDGS is the funds transfer system that enables real-time transfer of fiat and securities. Ripple has been actively working with central banks and looking to help financial institutions deploy central bank digital currencies. CBDC. Ripple has time and again vouched for its on-demand liquidity, ODL, services and XRP ledger, which uses XRP to bridge currencies between different fiats and provide efficient, real-time cross-border transactions. In addition, XRPL is compatible with stablecoins, whose utility has been recognized by the Bank of England's Governor Andrew Bailey for its transacting advantages and its ability to reduce friction in payments. Due to the U.S. clampdown on XRP, Ripple had previously also considered moving its operations overseas. The U.K. has been among the list of countries that the fintech firm had considered. Executive Chairman of Ripple Larson had criticized the cryptocurrency framework provided by the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission and said that it was light years behind the U.K., China, and other countries in terms of providing a regulatory framework for cryptocurrencies. A change to WhatsApp's terms of service has triggered a mass exodus from the messaging platform to more private and independent rivals like a Telegram and Signal, which have registered millions of new users over the last week. Rather than agreeing to new terms specifying the app's right to share user data with Facebook, Nasdaq FB, millions of WhatsApp users simply gave up using the platform abandoning it for less intrusive competitors. Telegram alone has been downloaded 25 million times in the last 72 hours. Continue reading on Cointelegraph. Uniswap growth lead Ashley Schapp has slammed a recent article from Urine Finance founder Cronge that criticized forked protocols in the DeFi space, with Schapp describing Urine's recent merger with SushiSwap as validating a stolen dApp. Cronge's Gen.12 blog post, Building in DeFi Sucks complained about the risk of competitors forking his code, and combining such with attractive tokenomics in a bid to siphon away users from the products that he has invested significant time into building. He wrote, Continue reading on Cointelegraph. Global investment management firm Van Eck, is facing a lawsuit from blockchain firm and former partner Celix over a Bitcoin ETF that Van Eck filed for SEC approval less than two weeks ago. In 2017, Van Eck became the first company to file for a Bitcoin exchange-traded fund registered under the Investment Company Act, while Celix has been working to bring a Bitcoin ETF to market since 2015. The two firms joined forces in June 2018 with Solix touting its deep experience with crypto as a complement to Vanek's extensive background in issuing financial products. Continue reading on Cointelegraph. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.